Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable taking screenshots and videos on fail. Again, very important feature provided by Playwright by default, which makes debugging of fail tests as easy as possible. To do it, simply go to the Playwright config and you can see we have video and screenshot, but right now we have set it to off, which means that no video and no screenshot is taken on fail or success. To actually create and take videos on fail, you can simply change the off to retain, but you know what, if you delete it completely and do this, it will automatically give you all the options. So you can do off, on, which means it will record videos all the time and save them. On first retry, retain all failure and retry with video. So I would recommend you to use retain on failure, which means it will only save the videos of the failed test and nothing more. And let's do the same with screenshots. Here you have only three options, off, on and only on failure. So let's enable it only on failure. And now we can take some test and make it fail and see what happens. So go back to example. And let's say I want to make this assertion fail. So we can go to helpers and let's change it from H1 to for example H5 because there is no H5 on this example web page, so the test will fail. And now see what's going on. So let's go to the terminal, let's run our test. We can run it, head it, it's no problem. And the test is now waiting for the H5 element, which is not there. And after the action timeout is reached, the test will fail. So as you can see, our test failed and we have two attachments. The first one is actual video and the second one is a screenshot. And if you take a look, we have a new folder here called test results. And if you open it, you see that we have test failed and you have the screenshot of the failed test. And also there is a video in WebM format, which you can open in your browser and see it. So that was it. This is how simple you can just add your screenshots on fail and videos on fail. So every time your test fail, you will get this nice test result where you can take a look at a screenshot or you can take a look at the video of the complete test run and you can easily debug and find why it failed. So that's it and let's move to the next video.